back All again right. with what I'm not going to say is the final stream, because we've set that for the past five streams now. Yeah. But, uh, I, yeah, we're still blind. I don't know how much is in DLC 2. Yep. We did the first thing, that was like a sneaking mission, which yeah, we, we got like three it? of those, I think, right? Yeah, I don't think we finished the first mission. I'm assuming that there's eight new shrines in, shrines in this, because that would give a total of, like, all 20 hearts. Yeah. Or all three stamina levels. Also, happy fourth. You'll probably hear fireworks this stream. <laughs> Not from my end. Alright. Sneaking mission. We got our, uh, our insta-kill weapon. That we Only haven't works. had to use too much so far. Yeah. So you gotta hunt for like enemies. That sliver is upsetting me. I need to get rid of it. This is important. Okay. <laughs> you say so. Right, so you gotta sneak around this. You gotta go around this area, and you gotta find. You gotta kill all the creatures here. That's how this works. Yes, fortunately, we don't have to like procure procure on site. We have our own. Uh... Man, I want Nasties. that honey, but it's or not worth it. One. Not worth it. No. Enemy. Got my sixty power sword. Can I only? Do I only have to have this equipped? Oh. Well, can I at least... I can use bows, at least. Yeah. I thought I had this thing as an option. I didn't realize I had to use it. Well, shit. They don't want you getting too good. Big, big end. So, uh, new to, as of the previous Breath of the Wild stream, we are now Twitch affiliates again. That's good. Because uh, Twitch changed their policy. They no longer have an exclusivity clause. Probably because everybody was, like, going on a kick and they're like, oh, we don't want everybody to leave. Oh, yeah, like, at least us and Wickersham both were like, okay, well, if we can't stream on YouTube if we're doing this, then we just, we won't be Twitch affiliates and we won't make you money. Bye. And then they changed their mind. Apparently that happened a couple years ago and just, like, no one knew. <laughs> He's just like, oh, okay. I, I guess that's cool. I... Key is to friends? save like a madman. I See, I'm the only one who seems to do that. Every other person I've watched stream this and Tears of the Kingdom rarely saves. Huh. I'm, I'm the only save scummer. Well, you're the... You're, well, you save, like, uh, like... Like old school saving, like uh, in yeah, that's regular, true. Yeah, I'm also used that... to like old Pokemon and shit. Yeah. So I guess uh, I guess this that oh you, because you kill them all and then the then the shrine comes out and then after you and then after all the sh the shrine is uh give me this fancy weapon but not yeah. using it. Yeah, I mean. So this is four you, you sites and four shrines. This would require you to get close to somebody, and if yeah. you get close to somebody, that that means that you get it within like striking distance. If you get within striking distance, it's too late. Fucking good shot. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Nope. Ah. Yeah. You didn't see the the, the the exclamation point on the on that group? I thought you did. Not on the group. I saw it on the on the distant one. Okay. What did I save? Yeah. You didn't. When did you save? I don't know. Okay, it saved before I jumped down. Bomb arrows. <laughs> Who else are you going to use them on? What if they release DLC 3 and I need my bomb arrows? This game. Apparently they said that uh, they confirmed, no, we're not doing any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. 
Which is a little surprising, because like, people would buy it. Yep. Oh, you, you just pissed off the group. Yep, here they come. That's fine. Why the I can take them. What, where did that explosion come from? There's a barrel. And, yep, snuck up behind you. Man, this is like Hotline Miami. What if that was official? What if they actually did a Hotline Miami, like, Zelda crossover? It would be the most brutal. That game is brutal. I Obviously, it would have to be toned down for Zelda purposes, but, like, Cadence of Hyrule equivalent. Just Hotline Miami gameplay style. Hotline Hyrule. Did you ever have, have any uh, interest in that game, the Crypt of the Necrodancer series? I own it. I, I could play it. Um, I played it like a couple times. It's uh, it's interesting. It requires you to like think very quickly because of the beat-based uh, style of the gameplay. That was probably a bad idea. Carrying it. Yeah, probably. Also could, uh, I have my stealth gear on. I could turn, put on my, like, attack gear. Uh, which one would be more useful to you? Like, increased attack power, or just, Well, after uh, a point, the stealth isn't helping. Yeah. Because you're not stealthy enough. Yeah, like, he's charging headfirst into, like, enemy ranks going, Hey, look at me! I'm, I'm being stealthy. Fuck you. You know, if you were, if you were, if your accuracy was better, instead of just you. Oh, hello! Someone's coming. I think. Are they coming? No, they're dancing down there. Now you can throw a barrel down. God damn it, Link! Work out. You're gonna, you're gonna find like you're gonna develop the most, the least optimal strategy. And use it, and then be surprised that it's not working. There you go. Wait, what? Some of them survived. That didn't deal much damage at all. Oh, they're red. There oh, go. he's got arrows. More, multiple. Unfortunately, Lazalfos are good at dodging. You got a, what you got as a plan B? Where's, where's my super suit? Light arrows. I'm not gonna use light arrows on these jobbers. We're gonna use them I only on. have this 17. Is last, this is the last challenge. <laughs> Alright, I'll you know, use one. You use, a, use a bomb, you have 101 bomb arrows, use those. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, big... he's gonna like, he's gonna dash up to me, be in my face, and I'm gonna blow myself the fuck up, is what's gonna happen. Okay. Oh yeah, you're, you're, he could have done that. Oh, he just went flying, where'd he go? He got spears! He got one. I got him. So is that same section you kept dying on, but you're just approaching it from above? Uh-oh. Is that what's going on? God, they're fast. Haste. They got haste. Still alive. Still alive. I've been saving up all game for this, you bastard. Dodge this, you bastard. Got him. That was the, uh, that was the lust, uh, in Brotherhood death. <laughs> this explosions forever. Yeah, no, finally, she just is like, oh, well, well, that's it for me, and then disintegrates. That was a lot messier than the Bokoblin fight. <laughs> There's two things I like. I like villains eating shit, and I like really messy fights. That, uh, that first Dio fight in, uh, JoJo was, was pretty messy. Yeah. 
And it would deal getting impaled on a statue with the house burning down around him. It didn't even kill him. He didn't die, but he never forgave him. And then, and then he got decapitated, and he was like, okay, I respect you now. We watched, uh, we watched Black Cauldron last night. Yeah, oh it's yeah. A Disney film. I heard about it. I heard nobody really talking about it. I heard one person talk about it and said that he found it shit. And I'm like, well, I always wanted to watch it as a kid. I wasn't able to. It seemed like Disney's darkest film. It does get called that in comparison, like, in contests with Hunchback. Oh, yeah. it's a guardian. And you think that Hunchback's darker? I do. I, I think Hunchback generally handles, like, darker themes. Dude, what if your what, what if your hand-to-hand -hand weapon worked on that? It does. I probably. I guess I could probably swing once to kill it. Yeah. Charges, it recharges pretty quickly. So, uh... I think I think it's like sinister in terms of like vibes. But I as guess. far as like actual adult themes, uh, Hunchback has has more of those. Oh, it's bees. Nope. 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 So uh. So uh, you want to talk about the main character of? <laughs> so the Black Cauldron by what by Disney is uh, is a movie in which the main character basically does nothing for the whole movie. Yes. Well, okay, no, but... that's not that's not true. He fucks up several times. But at the same time, he's a rare case where he's a guy who fucks up several times, but his personality makes it like makes him not hateable. Oh, he's fearless. The, he's got that going dude, for him. But the dude is literally fearless. He says he's not afraid of the Horned King. And, and you know what? The dude was not lying. It wasn't like a sense of fake bravado. I believe, it, when the guy says he's not afraid, I believe him. He's just is like... <laughs> the dude was about to throw himself into, like, into certain death. And then the comic was... relief character decided, no, I'm going to be more useful than you. There's a rare movie where the comic relief character was more use was more useful than the main character, and that's kind of sad. Hey, I mean for the for the main character. Not a tremendously written movie. No, it's pretty shit. Uh, but uh, I do. I it just reminds me I miss that art style. Disney doesn't ever do that style anymore. Yeah, it's very uh, sword in the stone adjacent. Yeah, that particular movie. Although I'm convinced that one specific character or animator just didn't finish his work and they just put it in the final print. Oh, Whoever yeah, was in yeah. charge of the bard dude. Because all oh, yeah, of his close-up was... shots were like all sketchy and unfinished looking. That guy was literally useless. Yeah, he didn't do a he damn did thing. He didn't do a damn thing except talk a little bit. And the princess was the most useful. And of course the comic relief, like a... Uh, like a... Uh, like a uh, monkey character. Monkey? No. Comic relief, like a little thing that uh... the mascot, the snarf. Snarf. Stop to start. I mean, that would suggest using stasis, but like, do I need to? Doesn't seem like I need to. Yeah, yet. it seems to be working out fine. Oh, you know what? The the spikes move and build up momentum, and then it'll continue flying. Yes. Yeah. that? I can. Do I need to? Me? Get down here. Oh, the cube's moving. Maybe you need Yeah, it. that's why I didn't trust the cube. Okay, gears. Oh, those are spikes. They sure are. I guess I could, I, you know, I was probably supposed to stasis that instead of running against it. Uh... Well, who cares? Uh, it's, it's cool. You could do it. Just dash. I you need to run. So, the Master Trials DLC, you could, in theory, do as soon as you get the Master Sword. This one, you can't until you free all four, like, Divine Beasts and everything. Yeah. This is the one you just can't, you cannot do immediately. 
This is just this is just Mario, but with like but with worse like uh, platforming controls. You're probably gonna need to use stasis. This is a pretty hard challenge. Now oh, fuck you. Oh. Uh, and you're gonna. Uh, slower than haunted house spiked walls, but uh, faster than mad scientist spiked walls. It's fine. That block will uh will stop. What the fuck? <laughs> What is this? Hall of Spikes. What function does this serve? I, I know it function. That one spooked me. That one got me by surprise. That, yeah, I get it. I, I'm. I'm gonna try to be make it easier on you because you only got one hit. Your one, your one like uh, strength has been taken away from you. Man, I gotta do the whole thing. Yeah. So um. Back to Black Cauldron. Uh, what was uh, this for those who don't like... know anything about this movie? It was like 1985 2D Disney movie that's kind of yeah. considered the black sheep of the Disney library, and it was adapted from a dark fantasy novel series. I think it was young. I think it was young fantasy. Yeah. But like young adult, but or not even that. I don't. As far don't as Disney what... goes, it came off as dark fantasy as they, they get. Yeah, let's just fucking summarize it. Who else is gonna watch it? Nobody really watches it anymore, which honestly should. It, it is like, interesting. But yeah, so, like, the main character is this, uh. What's his fucking name? You're dead. Uh, you have to Ter Teron? Teron? Teron, Teron. Terar. No, it's T A R A N, Teron. 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 So. Teron, that's it. So he's a so he's a boy of indeterminate age. I, I said 12, you said 14. The wiki says 14. Okay, so he's 14. And, uh, and he's, like, living in a, on a farm with this other dude who just, I guess, took care of him. And he's they're taking care of a pig. And he's like, I don't want to take care of a pig. I want to be a great warrior. I want to go on adventures and shit. Why is this pig so important? One day you'll learn. Yeah. He's, like, he's like he, he, he spends his time, like, uh, training by, like, threatening the geese and... And then, like, and, like, dueling the goat. And one day the pig goes all ape shit, and then the guy's like, It's time! And then the, apparently the pig has the ability to, like, scry into, in, like, water. Yeah, it's a magic something. pig. It's a legendary yeah, it's pig. Yeah. We, I mean, at that point, we thought, we, uh, you thought at that point, I thought at, the, at that point that the pig was gonna turn into a princess. That was my theory, yeah. That you did it again. <laughs> okay, I should probably stasis that second gear. Probably. Um, so... So, like, so then he's like, so then the guy's like, go, says, Hey, I want you to take this pig to the other side of the Forbidden Forge and onto this cottage. Okay, you have you one job. Give? You have to escort a pig to another person. Alright, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some important supplies. Here's an apple and here's half, here's a quarter of a loaf of bread. Good luck. And then they go. And, uh, and, and then the pig gets, just runs away from him? Hey, For some reason? Ask me if, play. ask me if he does his job of getting the pig to the other person. Does he do the job of getting to the pig to the other person? No, he completely fucks it up. Well, he loses the pig, and the pig well, gets captured by wyverns. <laughs> Not dragons, wyverns, because dragons have, like, have, like, uh, four limbs and two wings. Wyvern's only got two limbs and two wings. So, the fucking... Cool. So you're gonna run in place until... No, you don't, you don't need to stop it. Not for that part. So this is the hardest part right here. Well, not here, right here. The hardest part is uh, down, further down. So, uh... <laughs> so, he gets kidnapped, and then... Well, before, he, before the pig gets kidnapped, he meets, uh... The comic relief character. Who is oh, this? the the little the the golem. Yeah. Go you say golem. Uh, I, I, he's, I, I thought he was golem, but then he started hitting himself after he stole an apple, and I called him a Dobby. Dobby, golem, R two D two, the the small comic relief mascot character. And so they go to see. They go get like 
to, to rescue the pig, and the guy, and the, the cowardly thing is like, is like, no, I can't go in there. If I go in there, I'll never be able to. It is gonna go top, so just go inside. And fine. We're good. Yeah, that's it. That was the last part. Cool. So then, uh, resurrection. They're going after the pig, and they find the castle. Of the yeah, Horned this... King. Yeah, oh! Played by John Hurt. He's, he's, he did a great job. And then, apparently, the, he has got a mascot, too. He's got his own jockin. Yeah, this is, a, this is a movie with multiple, like, small, bumbling, comic relief mascot characters. Yeah, and his is named Creeper. And apparently, this Horned King looks like a lich. He's got, like, a skeletal features, face is shrunken in. He's obviously evil. And this dude just happens to have, like, regular human minions that I guess he hired. I guess he was just like, he can work for me. Yeah, there's mooks. There's mercenaries. So he stuck in, and the, and the coward d didn't want to come because he was a fucking coward. Oh, hey, Cass. And so he stuck in, and they're like, hey, we got the pig! You can show us where the black cauldron is! And they're like, what's the black cauldron? And, and there's a, and it's like, it's something that can allow you to summon an evil army of skeletons. It's pretty rad. I wasn't expected to see a traveler on this solitary plateau. I'm Ooh. hurt. Not to be rude, but you don't look so well. <laughs> Much like this plateau, you're looking a mite dreary. Uh. I apologize. Perhaps it was not my place to say as much. I understand more than most the burden of travel. As for me, yep. I came to this spot to pursue an ancient song about a hero at this very plateau. Oh. Is this new to the DLC? Or I thought I did Perhaps. all the ca cast stuff. Perhaps do it. Oh. Like, see what he has to say. Kill him off, kill him off, kill him, kill him, kill him off. Flames crawl, waters rise. We get the uh, classic theme. Lightning strikes, wind sighs. Uh, spoiler, Cass isn't in Tears of the Kingdom. No one knows where he went, everyone misses him. He went to lands beyond. Probably in Metroid somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> just hanging out. Probably in Metroid and Samus looks at him and he's like, Are you a Chozo? Hanging out with the Star Fox crew. Okay. Is this a quest or is this just I a nice rock. little song? As it were, I perused my teacher's old notes and found that song there. What sort of sound could alarm a horse so effectively? A whistle. Certainly helps to visit the locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps my helps open my mind to inspiration. Those notes had other interesting songs, too. I plan to visit those locations as well. Okay, cool. Is that, cool. like... I don't know if I have that as, like, a quest, if I can track Cass or not. Probably not. Probably nothing. So, uh... He's in the so Horn he's, King so he's... Cap he's in the Horn yeah. King's castle looking for his yeah. pig. And he finds it, and the pig gets pumped right out, and they basically pour a, bo a bottle of whiskey in, into a thing. It's like, go on, pig, tell us where the black cauldron is. And they're going to brand it, and that's when fucking Turin just fucks up immediately again and just falls from the rafters. And then they're like, oh, he knows how he, can, he knows how to do like get the pig. And the guy's like, like looks at the Horde King, and he's like, I can't tell you. I made a promise that I wouldn't tell you. Very well. <laughs> Very well. And then he's like, okay, well, I have no use for the pig. He's about to decapitate it. And he's like, well, shit, I might not fear this guy, but I don't want my friend to die. So he's like, okay, I'll do it. Dude and just charges in on a mob of assassins and the Horned King with no weapons and then is surprised when he loses and is captured. It was more accidental at that point. I, I, I'll, I won't, like, be faulting that. Oh, so, hello. Enemies... <laughs> Kaboom. I don't think people like when we podcast for too long, so I'm not, I'm not trying to like finish your story, but uh, I, I don't want to make that the whole stream is all. Yeah, but I just want to do nothing but talk about the Black Cauldron all stream. That's a really crazy movie. So the reason why I was wanting to talk about the Black Cauldron, he killed that horse. Rip horse. The reason why I was wanting to talk, I watched the Black Cauldron last night, is because during the day yesterday, I was uh, taking an, an antibiotic, 
or the first time I took it, and I had a really, really just bad reaction to it. And it didn't even recover until, like, uh, last night, that late at night, so that was rough. Oh. Oh, shit, that sucks. Miss. So, oh. so this is a mixed uh, Boko Blin uh, Liz Alphros. Uh, there's a Moblin in there, too. Someone uh, firing. Oh, wow. That almost got you. Another dude on a horse back there. He's going the distance. Up oh, there, there, where are your presents? Nope. Ah! Fuck off. He's close by, just whack him with your insta kill weapon. He's racing and racing and charting the course. He's riding and riding off his riding on his horse. You take that song literally, it's just about like about like a dude who was in a who was like in, entered in like a in, like a car race with a horse. And then everybody else won. And he's still just like just like riding the fucking track. While thinking about a, a woman he likes. Remember that, that one song? dude in Cowboy Bebop who was just a cowboy? And he was the only yeah. one in the show who was a cowboy? Yeah. That was close. Oh, you got it! Yeah, well, that episode was, was strange. And then they're like, oh, you two are exactly the same! And he's like, what? No. And then Brandy became a samurai. Also have like a brand of like beans. Did he? Yeah, he's like, here, have some of my beans, Bay. And she's like, um, okay. Man, I can't even like hunt down for stuff to restore my health. I'm just stuck like this. Yeah. Alright, shrine number three. We're actually doing pretty well. We we might be closer to being done than, than we think. Well, there has to be more than just four shrines to this whole DLC. It's probably like a master shrine, uh, uh, so to speak. If these are four, then I would assume there's four others. Maybe there's like four really big temple-like shrines. On from, a, from users on Twitch. Uh, that there is, in fact, uh, one more, like... A lot more to this DLC. Oh, yeah. uh, you yeah. want me to do this with one hit? Alright. You gotta one-hit kill weapon. It's That's true. It's Miami. Just fucking... Just gonna fight like a gentleman. Major test of strength. Oh, look. Fresh it, meat. It can't work in one hit. Otherwise, it just I'd run up and hit it, and I'd win. It's gotta do its stupid lasers first, though. Yeah, you can try. Just, just, like, give it a shot. Okay. No, it works. Ma a major test of strength. A major test of strength. Dodge. You've done it. you tested your strength. He's haunted by something he can't define. Infinite power. <laughs> when it says infinite power, it's not fucking around, okay? That's my weakest weapon. I, I could stand to get rid of the bonk hammer, I guess. The bonk hammer or the leaf. Stone smasher. Bunga bunga caveman. Big number good, small number bad. 
I'll get rid of the Boko bat. That, those break immediately that's, anyway. That's how a lot of that's how a lot of people who do play uh, Pokemon casually think about Pokemon. Big number good, small number bad. Oh, you can get through the game easy doing that. Yeah, but not for PvP. PvP people they use strategy and, and, and it's like, man, I remember when Pokemon was about real power. Oh, good. I need more of those. Yeah. They know what you want. Wait, there's more? <laughs> okay, I, I, this was too easy. What, what, what's the, uh... Okay. Going back out. Oh, just, just flying down, huh? Yep, there are enemies in these narrow tunnels. Okay. Does those, uh, damage you when they explode? They seem like their explosion is, like, just low enough that it shouldn't. Yeah, I don't well, think they do, but I'm not willing to confirm. Yeah. I don't want to test that myth. Oh, hello. Goodbye. You know, I thought this weapon would have a longer cooldown than than I than I expected, but like, it's, this is actually making things. This is actually making it look to like a Hotline Miami thing. Thankfully, my theory was correct, and it only like breaks if you use it twice in quick sequence. Yeah. So. Just... Oh, so you tested it? It does break. Well, it says that it has like a cooldown if you swing it twice in succession. Loses its sheen and power after two consecutive uses, but will eventually regain both. It seems like it works like the flame blade and like and, and like those. Oh, hello. Class of weapons. Oh. Where are you? Hello. Oh, there you are. Damn it. You should have zigzagged. You didn't zig or zag. Oh well, what are you gonna have to do? You're gonna have to kill a bunch of easily defeated enemies again. Go. Gotta do this again. Speaking of automatons, I finished uh, my life as a teenage robot. Yeah, you were you were talking to me about that like multiple times, just like about the title, the really uh, awesome title cards, the uh, and just the, the amount of crap the show was like allowed to get away with. Uh, oh, I, I, I was completely I, wrong about the masturbation episode, by the way. That that doesn't you, exist. That doesn't exist? No. The tickle episode? Well, they did. There was the episode with the tickle points, but the plot of it was not what I remember the plot being. Oh. Uh... I guess I guess that would make sense. They would they would if they did it that way, standards and practices would basically like fucking lynch like eat them alive. Yeah, that is one thing I can say the show does really well is the title cards, which is a really weird yeah. thing to point out, but like I don't know, if I can credit one each show with doing one thing best, I suppose. Teenage Robot has really good title cards and Avatar the Last Airbender has really good recaps. That was the weird thing I noticed about that show. Yeah. The, it, it, they did, they, the recaps they did were, like, better than you'd think. Nope. No damage. Oh, okay. All for show. They, they, uh, it's the, it's... Now, my final opinions on Teenage Robot are we're kind of similar to my opinion on Croc. Is that it's something? it has a lot of charm. The show is carried by the main character. Mm. Unfortunately, it kind of doesn't matter because the writing is, is kind of crap. Much like there's so much charm to Croc, but it doesn't matter because it plays like crap. <laughs> and it's just yeah, kind of unfortunate because it just feels like missed potential. Man, it's weird that like God my out of damn it. It's weird that my out of order uh just shoot a bomb arrow up there. Take him out, like from the ground. Yeah, I probably could. I mean, it's probably 
probably your only option, really. Uh, Teenage Robot was made by a person who worked on a bunch of other Cartoon Network shows, including Powerpuff, Dexter, I think Samurai Jack he was involved you in. Tell, you can tell with that art style. Yeah, it has the, the UPA-inspired art style. It feels a lot more like a Cartoon Network show than a Nickelodeon show. It was kind of out of place on Nick. Yeah, it, it, it does have that kind of that kind of like sense of like humor and flow to it. Nick, would you call Nick stuff? What, what what do you think the style of Nick is compared to style of Cartoon Network? What do you think are the two the major differences between the two? Uh, Nick kind of went through a few, but Nick is generally a lot safer than Cartoon Network is, uh, for the yeah. most part. There was a time that they weren't, like the uh, the, the Rocco and, uh, and Ren and Stimpy era. Oh, yeah, then, then they got really safe. Then they were kind of, aside from Ren and Stimpy and Rocco, their early stuff on Nickelodeon was mostly all Clatsy Xuppo, which was, you know, Rugrats, Wild Thornberries, Ah, Real Monsters, that studio. Yeah. They relied on them a lot. Well, they were fine. They, that's, that, those are fine animations. So, yeah, that's, you got the... Uh, the Jeff K and company like era. Then you have the uh, the more uh, like traditional cartoon era. And now I guess their animated stuff is just safe. Would you call? Uh, you you haven't seen uh, Loud House, have you? No, I haven't. Oh but wow! Those Nick has always been generally known for being less willing to like give a chance to new shows. If something doesn't do like SpongeBob success immediately, they can it after a season or two. Ah, yes, the the Call of Duty fallacy. That's that is disappointing. What? We good? You got him. Whereas uh, Culture Network had a much bigger variety of shows, bigger variety of creators, and uh, you remember it had a lot of those like uh, cartoon variety shows that were just an excuse to show off a bunch of pilots those were cool oh yeah what a cartoon yeah yeah um i would say that i think they're less they're they're more they're playing it more safe now uh than they than, than like in their past unfortunately especially considering that teen titans go was their like big thing i don't know what Car cartoon network has been doing since go yeah. that was like 10 years ago now isn't it yeah, no one has cable cool. anymore. No, we all we're all just on like uh, our streaming services. It's more convenient. Cable, like streaming, did to cable what uh, what streaming services did to the record industry. <laughs> made made the old formats irrelevant. Are they wanting you to swim? Is this a fucking maze? It does appear to be a maze. I don't know where I'm going in the maze. I can't see the uh, the bottom right comments. Oh well. Teenage Robot had more... I felt like it had more magical girl blood than I remembered it having. At least in season one, because they seemed like they were really trying to do a villain of the week thing. And the villains were always really stupid, just like Sailor Moon villains. Like, say say your name, like, over and over again. Uh, well, two of them were just fucking Mario and Luigi. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I remember that Sailor Moon villain, which is literally just a uh, bird dude who boxed. That was the best one, though. He was, yeah. he was a priest boxer bird. But as, the, like, as Sailor Moon went on, they just got stupider and stupider, and even the show wasn't taking them seriously anymore. Yeah, they just felt like, like the, they had to have one in every episode, because that's the formula. Sailor Moon uh, enemy, enemies are, like, uh, nine times out of ten, like, like really stupid, and the one time uh, is, like, something really, really fucking dark. And like scary, and like legit, like scary and menacing. You think? So? I think they only had like a couple of those in the very early parts, and then that just stopped completely. All right, fine. One in twenty. Damn it! You didn't scout the entire area. You missed yeah. the sniper. Yeah, I did. So you're probably gonna have to redo that whole section again. I have to redo the whole shrine. Oh, I still have the key. Never mind. We're good. 
So no, I, I get to go right back to where I was. Yeah, I just, uh... Oh, the, the thing's down, too. Just dive. Man the hatch! Dive! 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 But, uh, Teenage Robot is probably most comparable to Powerpuff Girls, aside from the lack of, like, memorable villains, just because... It didn't... It, it was more just a cartoon show that happened to feature action. Remember, sniper up, up there. I know, I know. As opposed to... As opposed to, like... Just... Like, a dedicated action show with continuity or anything. Yeah. It wasn't until season three that they, like, started referencing stuff that had happened previously at all. Okay, well, this guy is gonna be a nuisance. Just fire a light arrow, then. Yeah. Blink him. Blinking. Why did you look down, Link? What happened? What was so interesting on the ground? <laughs> yeah, was it... Was, were, oh, uh, G, uh... It was the your, gyro. Yeah, you didn't adjust for the gyro. So really, it was your fault, if you think about it. Thanks. <laughs> You're anytime. Uh... What was... Okay, so... Was the... Was Jenny's, uh, like, hot rod paint job, like, canon? Hot rod paint job? There was an yeah. episode where she, like, she went to an auto shop and got, like, a spa treatment with a new paint job, yeah. Yeah, with flames. Yeah, so that was one episode. So, so that was canon. Yeah, they did. were you wondering if that was, like, a false memory you had? No, I was wondering if that was just fan art that, like, got out of hand, like, uh, like, uh, Bowsette. Oh, people like to draw that, that particular skin. Uh, from what I could tell, yeah. Oh, that wasn't enough? What do you mean? Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to take him out hard style. Just, fo just ignore the him and focus on others. I need to get rid of this bottom guy first. Bottom. Bottom guy. I think it might work if I hit him in the eye, but I, I keep getting sniped. Yeah, you keep you keep standing there, letting him get a bead on you, and then shooting you, and then, and then you collapse. That, that is something that is happening. Oh, what do you suggest, Einstein? Take out everybody else for it. You know what? Go He's up the more there. threatening, because if I stand there, the two on the sides can't get me. I'm getting hit by him while I'm trying to get the two on the sides. Well, is why we're dealing with him. Well, pick, That's pick how a, we got here. Take a strategy and stick with it. I'm don't, doing it, don't, Jack. Don't waffle. You're waffling. I'm not waffling. You're you're pancaking. Shut up. <laughs> so you got him. The problem is, is that when you were when you were shooting him before, you were hitting him just so he could get his shield up, and you just weren't like. Well, the only chance I have to hit him is when he fires, and that... Oh, okay, no. A light arrow will not kill him. Alright, so... Electric arrow? Maybe get him to drop his shit? Maybe. I see you, chat, but I'm not at the point where I'm, I'm looking for tips yet. Well, it stuns him. There you go. And Briefly. Right it's a very brief stun. Yeah. You think that, like... God, there's, and there's no way up there, is there? Not one that will not put me in his line of fire is Wait! the problem. There, is that water? That is water! Yeah. You got you got ice. Build an ice platform. Oh, that's not... Okay, bomb arrows are better against those two. I think I just need to get rid of these two guys while being mindful of that one first. Well, you can have an ice platform, you can get like, more barrier and stuff. I still need to get up to him physically in order to finish him off, though. Yeah. Wait, there's stairs to the left and to the right that let it lead up to that platform. There's. You see those stairs? Pain in the ass room design. I, I see them, yes. I was trying to find a way that would not have me, like, walking while being under fire. Yeah, well, got good news. Do it, do it, do it! No, he blocked it. Okay, you got, you got him.
told you, like, the strategy is get up to him. Or hit him with your insta-kill weapon. Okay, we're definitely playing Tears of the Kingdom, so I can, like, mock you as you make stupid mistakes. Because <laughs> you're, su you're such the expert, Mark! I'll overthink the strategy and you'll be like, JUST FUCKING DO IT! Why are you fucking stole it? Just do it! That'll be- that'll be our- that'll be the reverse experience. My tip was to make ice. Oh, okay. Jack, why are you so fucking dumb? Why are you so slow? Why do you know what chat knew immediately? How would the ice help on the- on those two? Oh well. Well, they blocked that one guy's shots, but... Yeah. No, your your strategy was the, was the better strategy, honestly. You just shoot them, snipe them all from where you were, and then... And I had then the I had the right them. idea immediately. I just got sniped by that one guy up top. Yeah, and I just had to be mindful there. of him. Yeah. One more. All the way over there. Man, missing stem. I'm missing three. I thought it should only be short two. Maybe there's 12 new shrines in this. Maybe. Or maybe not. Uh, in Tears of the Kingdom, Link starts with full stamina and full hearts, so I, I will be very upset in terms of continuity if I can't achieve that in this game. Alright? Well, may maybe maybe there are some shrines in the castle. Or oh! Too cold! Go put on something warm. That armor looks nice. It's like a nice, nice little winter armor. It's the armor Link would wear if he was uh, going to the north in uh, in Westeros. Skyrim belongs to the Hylians. Skeletonized. That was how the that was how the, the main villain got got in uh, Black Cauldron was that uh, they did put a lot of time into his death scene. Yeah, he like what was it the 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 main like the main character uh, Farron like stayed behind like go and then you were like confused like what the hell is he doing? He's gonna confirm the kill <laughs> and he just stayed behind and, and he just. Held his ground, and then the, the, the fucking fucking horned king just got like his like boat like skin sucked up into the cauldron until he was nothing but bones. Yeah, he like kicked him once, but really all he really did at the end was just kind of stand there and watch the horned king get got. Yeah, he was in the right place at the right time. That that's, dude that's... is like low on every stat except for luck. Yeah, and he has a no fear trait. The, that that's yeah, his no build. Fear. Yeah, which is good. He's a fearless, lucky idiot, and and it worked out for him. He was li literally his plan was like, hey, let's go, let's go get the black cauldron before he does. So. Oh no, he followed then, us. He has the black cauldron. But yeah, he was planning. They got it, and then and then the fairy that guided him there was like, oh, that was your big plan, huh? Get the black cauldron and destroy it. But you can't destroy it. You fucking suck. It's also a very weird movie because. Like, all the characters, except for the two, are comic reliefs. At yeah, one point, a, they have a party of two regular characters and three comic reliefs. And it's just, it's so weird. It, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like proto Kota Supa. Just, just a party of complete idiots. Uh, what was... Yeah, it was great because like after after the the one comic relief sacrifices himself to neutralize the uh, the cauldron's power, 
uh, the, the skeletons stop moving and stuff. He's like grabbing, grabbing the skeleton. He's like going, get up, get up. Why won't you move? Uh, where'd the bat go? What happened? Got him. I did. There he is. No, he's not. I don't have him. There he goes. Yeah, that's, that's oh bad. god. Uh oh. Well, I'm unfreezable, so in theory, their attacks, their freeze attacks can't. Oh, that's probably why I survived the bat. Yeah. In fact, if they're ice, then I can use fire arrows. Man. Alas. Oh, are, oh yeah, you can fire arrow to. That's actually the least amount of arrows you got, is fire arrows, I mean, yeah. enough. It should be an instant kill on ice enemies, though. Oh, uh, yeah. That's like how ice arrows were an instant kill on fire enemies. That's some stuff that just gets kind of overlooked. This time I will climb the holy mountain. Hidden, forbidden, holy ground. Man, and then at the very end uh, of Black Cauldron, when everything was like all said and done, like the pig disappeared halfway through the movie. That was the MacGuffin of the movie, and then once, and then the pig is just like, okay, you're you're done now. It served its narrative narrative purpose, and it just disappeared from the movie. Miss. I should have stasis. Miss. This time for sure. This time for sure. <laughs> you, you, you are making it very hard for me to just say complimentary things if you just, just like, whiff five times in a fucking row. Just like, Jesus. Didn't we Did confirm we that, uh, did we confirm that hitting those guys in stasis, like, doesn't work? I don't, I don't know. Well, you got him, so fuck it's it. Fine. No one else has noticed anything. Poof. It's like fucking dude with like a with like a grenade launcher, just like, just like shelling like a fucking. Who else? Who else wants some? They're so confused. <laughs> What's going on? That dude's tanking it pretty hard. Yeah, he's a silver one. Should probably use my uh, my weapon on him. Yeah. What was uh, there was that uh I, yeah. was remem I was remembering that one uh like uh episode of Samurai Jack uh with those blind tower dudes. Yeah. That that's what this is reminding me of, just like they're firing arrows constantly. Oh no, you got an arrow. Ah, oh, really? He got you? He fired in time. Damn. Well, uh, start over from scratch. I, it completely escaped me, the possibility that he would have a bow and not a melee weapon. Well, I mean, you know now. <laughs> Uh, back up at the tower, and begin your just massive campaign of sniping. Oh. You gonna disintegrate him? I guess I could for the silver guy.
I should have got the Los Alfos first. Fuck yeah. off. Fuck off. I'm unfreezable. Yeah, come get some. Talk to this a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, their tackle still deals damage. Uh, what, you, you, why did you think it wouldn't? Because I'm unfreezable. <laughs> it's alright, we're learning. I have one HP. Well, surely this attack won't deal damage to me. Oh, rats, I guess it did. Uh. Oh, I, I learned that they were planning on doing a live action version of Black Cauldron. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Shocking they didn't follow through with that. It was back in 2016. They might still do it. I never got to see the uh, live-action Hunchback play, which I was curious about because it makes some changes that are more like uh, closer to the novel. Like the the gargoyles are firmly established to be, you know, figments all of his in, imagination. All in the head. Yeah. Are the bats coming? They are. July video idea somebody had. No, we're testing. doing it. We're blowing everything up. Yeah. What was the idea? <laughs> testing fireworks to see what causes the most damage to fingers. Well, did they do it? Uh, they, it's a 48 uh, minute, 15 second video by, uh, by Moist Critical, so yeah, he did it. I don't know if he did it with his own hand. It'd be a short video. They only have to do it. They can only do it like a maximum of like three times. Okay. Stasis him first, I swear. How? Yeah, stasis doesn't work. Yeah, that sucks. Well, at least he's down on the ground now. Miss. There, you got him. That sucks that that doesn't work. Uh, I'm just gonna use light arrows. Yeah. Use huh? Light. Bob? What? Where'd he go? It's like, it's like you captured him in a Pokeball. Alright. It's two more light arrows, but I got enough. No! I'm all alone. Is that it? Is that all? No? There's more enemies you need to kill? I wasn't okay. sure if the slimes counted or not. They're just wildlife, it seems. Yeah, you need to... So this is the last one. This is Snow Temple. Now I don't know if I'm interpreting this right, but according to chat, each of the uh, each of the champions has like three things that they ask you to do after this. Oh. The th oh, so so there's like twelve like additional quests. Gotta get all the stuff for the armor. I'm never gonna upgrade. Oh, that's right. If you vaporize them, you don't get their drops. I mean, do you really need them? I don't know what I have left to upgrade in this game. Oh, you know what you could do with white choo-choo jelly? Like, like free stuff? Well, no, you, you, yeah, you put it on the ground, and then, and then you, you, like, lay traps. That's, that's, uh, that's what you could do with them. The same with fire, just create, like, a fire trap. Alright, final plateau shrine. 
final plateau. Oh, it's dark. Oh. We Tron in here. Alright. I am darkness. Etsu Korima. We know it's you, Resurrection Bob. You don't need to do like a hundred different fucking names. Path of Light. We got lasers. Probably should avoid the lasers. You know, you'd think that, and there's one shrine in Tears of the Kingdom that will fuck you for avoiding the lasers, for thinking that. Really? You need to intentionally get hit by a laser in order to complete the shrine. Does it deal damage? No, it doesn't. It's, it's like a sensor trigger. But you would never know that unless you intentionally hit it. Well, that's, uh, inconvenient. <laughs> Wish there was somebody, some way to tell you, like, hey, hit this laser. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our circumstances, this is our blind Breath of the Wild playthrough. It has taken us quite some time to get through. Uh, I have played Tears of the Kingdom just on my own since completing I, the story for this game. I have not, because, uh, because shit like that costs money. Opinions are turning on it a little bit. Oh, people aren't liking it anymore? Every, yeah, which, granted, happens with every Zelda game. It's, well, actually, this new one is crap, and the last one is great. Well, there's a lot that, that you've, uh, that you've uh, revealed about it that kind of makes me, like, turn turn on it, especially how they doubled down on, uh, on, like, uh, on, like, just no, have no, uh... On durability. On durability, yeah. There is a lot of stuff that I think you would like about it, but, uh, yeah, I've, I've pointed out my flaws with the game, more or less, and, uh, I, I guess a lot of other people are starting to see them as well, like the honeymoon phase is over. Yeah. Shadow, people, uh, people are having issues with Shadow of the Erd Tree. Oh, the Elden Ring DLC? Yeah. What's going on with that? It's too, they, some people say it's too hard. Is it one of those things that's like made for people who've already beaten the game? Like you need to have a fully built character to do it? I mean, th I think so. I think that's the case, yeah. There's another one. There he is. God, it's creepier without seeing the legs because they look like they look like little like fast Roombas. <laughs> uh. That was my problem with uh, Maple Story and to an extension MMOs in general is that whenever they would add new content, it would be like level 200 content for people who've already done everything in the game. Yeah, this is single player stuff though. You can always just like just like like that kind of thing for single players is more understandable because it's like oh that was that was painless by comparison. It's also a it's also a much less grindy game than an MMO. Yeah, yeah, so there are people that can beat you. Like, the thing is with uh, with most, uh, like, uh, those kinds of FromSoft games is that you can, you can in fact, like, beat a game on a low level. It would take longer for the bosses, but the bosses are less damage sponges. Some of the bosses are less damage sponges than you think. Um, You're not hard limited to grinding for a thousand hours just to access the new content. Yeah, also, also if you're, if you really... I think the thing is, is that I dislike grinding as much as the next person, and and as long as you're not like playing it online, if you have, if you really feel that that, oh, you've, you've done, done well, well to conquer the trials laid before you. Your Hyrule's beacon of hope. Yeah, I already actually beat Ganon. He was kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. This thing? Hey, why don't I use this on Ganon? Can I do that? Oh, I get it. The four things are like, okay. <laughs> Alright, so what happens now? Is it, Oh, it's gone. There go the four champion spirits or whatever. Do we get our health back? Oh, that was only an hour. Yeah. 
I don't think... Alright, so here comes the next part. Gotta follow the, the star. Gotta get the Dragon Balls. Go, go, Dragon Ball. Follow that Dragon Ball. Someone pointed out to me that there was a uh, there were like insert songs in Dragon Ball Super, and I completely bleached that from my memory. Yeah, I. I don't know. Insert songs just feel kind of weird in the Dragon Ball franchise past the first series. Yeah, uh, I, I think of that uh, that uh, one they used uh, for the uh, Ultra Instinct theme. That oh yeah, that knew. had a that had a yeah, lyrical was... version. Yeah. I've been going through the uh, the Dragon Ball, Z, the Dragon Ball Z soundtracks of late. Kind of crazy that that was a series with four different soundtracks. Uh, yeah, the Bruce Bruce Faulkner, the Ocean one, the original one, and uh, Kai had a had a new soundtrack by uh, Kenji Yamamoto, who was previously in charge of the Dragon Ball games and spinoff stuff. Oh, okay. How was it? Uh. Kenji Yamamoto is probably my favorite of the composers just because he captures the overall style of the show the best. Unfortunately, oh, wow. he's also the one who's involved in all the plagiarism shit. So uh, oh. they stopped using his soundtrack towards the end of Kai's run. <laughs> well, oh yeah, he's just like, oh, Stradivarius. He, yeah, he he's the right Stradivarius though. guy. He was right, though, and that Stradivarius makes for some good Dragon Ball Z back, like, background music. Oh, yeah. So, it's plagiarized so as shit, but goddamn if it's not good Dragon Ball music. He's like, but it fits, though, right? <laughs> I mean, it works! Yeah, and it's a shame point. because it's his cool. original stuff is also really good, though. Yeah. Why does he... That's not like that other dude who plagiarized, uh, like, music, but he also just was, like, a shit composer. Oh, he Mike Love. No, <laughs> no. Who are you talking about? Pretend to be deaf. No, this is Japanese composer who pretended to be deaf, and and like and like also plagiarized like another person's work, and and he got away with this for a while until he like stupidly uh, in the middle of an interview like heard the doorbell ring and went, "I'll get it," with, with in front of the fucking like interviewer. Uh, like, like when, like when, like a person trying to be blind when exhibit was like showing you a new car. Uh, let me let me show you. <laughs> that was like, a painful Boondocks episode. That wasn't that a great was, one. Yeah. No, it was it was pretty cringy. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to get the. Uh... Resident Evil class. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a Resident Evil composer. Uh, he, the director's cut. The... Oh, is he the reason that they had to use the stupid new basement music? Yeah, you, you've heard of it, huh? Well, I you know, know of that, that particular situation. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him. He was the one who composed the clown part uh, in the basement music. That's the isn't isn't that the music that turned into the Gerudo shop music when we put it through the MIDI thing? Uh, did, did we? I don't... Ooh, stuff. D Wait, did they actually add that fucking music to, uh, to the randomizer? To... Oh, yeah, yeah, I also put it as, like, the, the clock tower music in Majora. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm glad that that's an option. No, oh, I'm, I'm getting stuff. Leave me alone. You're... Okay. I applaud your character coming here. No, wait, hold on! Shinies! Locations that will be revealed to you are trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Oh, is this going to be more Pit of 100 Trials shit? Do not let your guard down. Don't die. Well, I have my hearts again. Yeah, how bad, how bad can it be? Huh? Famous last words. What? What is this? Oh, you're giving me... I gotta fucking find these things? You're giving me maps? You gotta go find a thing... Which will, t which will give you more maps to find other things. Great. Oh, hey, Cass. What was that flash of light? Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Mm -hmm. How strange to see someone else at this ample altitude. What you about don't Bottom here? You don't recognize me? You know, Seriously? birds have terrible eyesight. 
Oh, how embarrassing. I'm afraid traveling on my own encourages me to talk to myself on occasion. We've met before, haven't we? This monument, I must admit, it has taken me by surprise. My teacher's unfinished song mentioned such monuments, and now one has appeared before my eyes. The song is mostly complete, however. My teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. I wish to weave the missing pieces together and finish the song. So I'm roaming the areas mentioned in the lyrics. Such a rush of happiness I feel at being able to sing while the divine beast watches over us. Yeah, I noticed like six years later they're all gone. What happened to them? They just, they walk off? They, they just, just left. fucking left by Tears of the Kingdom. He just got away with it. I came to Urbosa-sama first. This was important. Fight the Brute of the Sand. Okay, Mulduga. Fight, okay. Superman 64. Throw the orb underground. Basketball. <laughs> Easy. Easy challenges. First. Did the verse move you? A little bit. It was nice. As though the champions are speaking to me through the song, I hear their silent plea for its completion. That's why I must learn more about the champions of Hyrule's past. Luckily, the Gerudo must... chief Riju and her guard Buliara shared some precious tales of their champion with me. Grateful I, I, I'm grateful I was able to visit Gerudo Town, even though I had to leave my comfort zone a bit. Uh, he had to he had to dress in the Gerudo clothing. He had to do the same thing we did. Yeah. That's their culture, man. Oh, you know what? At least they marked down, marked the quest locations. Like the first ingredient must be collected from a creature that never lived. Next, you must find the sweetness in your enemy. The third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths. And lastly, you need powders taken from the heart of your mother. It's like that level of cryptic. I don't think they mark the locations for us. No. No, the... <sighs> Take the picture. Take the picture, picture taker. Jackass. I didn't realize, uh, or I forgot, I guess, that uh, Mulduga was a boss in Wind Waker. It was like the, it was the big burrowing worm. So it graduated oh, yeah. to being a mini boss. Oh yeah. Are you are you gonna be able to find them? Probably. Do you, do, you, do you want me to just fucking like look it up? I'm not gonna resort to that yet. Okay. We may have to though. It'd be great if like the maps looked the same. Unfortunately, they don't. Yeah, it's, the topography is all fucked. Well, it, it, we have, like, a topographical map where they have, like, a realistic map in the image. Yeah, it's, like, it does not work. This looks kind of like the spot in the picture. I wish Let's it would what... stop, like, changing my position when I close the map. Yeah. It's... Uh, that one is northwest of er, of Gerudo Town. And then the last one. There's the labyrinth. So it's just no, so it's north of the la of the desert labyrinth. Or north or like southwest. West? Southwest. Actually, that far thing is down here. Yeah, it looks that far southwest. Okay. Well, is there a rock? Is there a rock that, uh, that's, uh... Yeah, it's that. Oh. Cool. Alright, well, let's get, let's get to, uh, hunting.
How did they get such nice images? How come I just have a topographical map and they have like photorealistic bird's eye views? They got they use the they use a quadrone to like take the picture. Oh you should probably you should probably wear something cooler. Yeah, the fucking fucking uh like Arabian uh knight of uh, Prince of uh, Prince of Persia uh, outfit. An Arabian knight with a K. Yeah. Hunting wolves. Oh, that one survived. You, you will tell the tale. Gourmet meat, too. Holy shit. It's a good thing sand you boots. don't... It's a good thing you don't need water to live. Your mistake was stopping. Where we're going, we won't need water. Man, I'm reminded. That was, uh, that was fucking crazy. That... There was a... A movie called, uh... Event Horizon. It was like they're in space, and then the, the spa like there's a spaceship that invented hyperdrive. Unfortunately, hyperdrive, like uh, it, after using hyperdrive, it got like possessed by like evil spirits or something. Yeah. And the guy who created it, uh, the ship, was like, "We can't blow up the ship." He's like, "No, this ship is fucking dangerous. We all gotta go and go home." And he's like, "This is my home now." The next time you s they see him, oh nice. The next time they see him, he's like, he's like sewn his eyes shut, and he's and they're like, dude, what the fuck? You, you sewn your eyes? And he goes, where we're going, we won't need eyes to see. <laughs> By the way, the guy who played him, same guy as a, as a Dr. Grant from Jurassic Park. <laughs> so if you want to see, like, like Sam, like, what was his name? Sam Neil? Sam Weir? Anyway, that guy... Oh, we have a so new boss, a Muldu King. Yeah, King of the Muldus. Can you? Can you? Do you think you can beat him? I'm, I'm, I'll be fine. Hey, what are you doing here? This is dangerous. There's a enemy here. What is this? Uh, what is this? Are you that pretty gal I saw in Gerudo Town? Uh, oh, thanks. So thank you. Doesn't matter what you wear; these eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday. Oh, Crazy Tracy. Boss music is still playing. <laughs> it's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity. Anyway. I'm tracking down some juicy gossip. There's a fucking demon worm out there. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor and let you in on a rumor I haven't even published yet. Just okay. when you thought you could relax when the Divine Beast had settled and the lightning had stopped... A mysterious Mulduga shows up. Oh, she's relevant to this. Okay. Yeah, look at that Mulduga. Apparently the Gerudo soldiers tried fighting it, but normal swords didn't even make a dent. Okay, normal swords don't work. Do I need my infinity sword? Dude, that was taken from me. Yeah, you don't have it anymore. You got the master sword. Got a permanent 60 master sword. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then it'll break, but it'll come back after a while. It's all good. Uh. So what's your plan? I, want? I only need two pieces of heat clothing. So do I want sand boots or do I want my? I'll put on my barbarian shirt. It's gonna be. A... <laughs> that's that's an interesting look. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, you could you could have like refreshing uh, drinks and stuff, and then wear your your full barbarian gear. No, over here, idiot. There he is. Okay, how do you beat a Molduga then? Uh, well, first you have to attract it, because any, like, if you walk on the sand or make any noise, they are attracted <gasps> to that. Wait, so, so, so you gotta, wait, they're, they, it's Trimmer's rules. 
It's go it run it's run away from me. It's scared. <laughs> Trimmer's rules, like So what if you walk without rhythm? Is that is that is a that thing in Tremors? Yeah, do you if you walk without rhythm, do you still attract the worm? No? Okay. Alright, come here. And then you have to like stun it somehow. Those look like they look like giant fucking like seals. They look that's way less intimidating. Okay, I got him. And then I hit him with the sword. Oh wow! Is he just gonna be that... a fucking tank? Is that all this fight is? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let me. I'm gonna look up uh, easier way to kill him. What you're doing? Ow. Maybe you do have to like throw uh, throw a bomb inside its gullet. World boss deals a substantial amount of damage. Yeah, you might might want to like not get hit. Probably have something a little stronger than a master sword. Maybe a maybe a bludgeoning weapon. Maybe. A master sword is oh. actually well. I have these, I guess. No, that's not any stronger. All right. I will get my strongest shit. Oh, lightning's gonna come out. That's gonna be cool. Get out of here! Are you, oh, wolf, what? are you stupid? <laughs> Fearless wolf. God damn, the wolf killed me. It it's fine, you wait. You, uh. Bunked myself for a quarter heart. Uh, that's fine, you got him, though. Also, you can probably heal yourself if, uh. That is probably a good time for bomb arrows, too. I'm trying to be conservative, but... Will the light arrows work? No, that, you don't want to waste those. This, 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 seems, this is aggravating. It's not, just, not it's like... a damage sponge, yeah. Yeah. I was looking it up, there's no, like... There's no cheese, no shortcut. Fury is listed as an effective weapon, so just 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 throw lightning at it. Maybe that'll deal damage. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Do I have that? Do I have to like activate that? You were activating it. You just just let it just let go instead of doing the cancel. Oh, okay. The trick here is to utilize Euphosis Fury or electric weaponry. Okay, yeah, that did a lot. Yeah. See, you, you're just canceling it. Just, just, just blunt, blunting your sword. Hey, you got it. All the weapons and, and stuff. Another shrine. No. Okay, but an I did obelisk. it the manly way for the most of the fight. Wait, an obelisk. Oh, a shrine obelisk. Okay, so we're gonna get. Wait, how many shrines? Is there gonna be 12 more shrines? Yes. After boss battles and stuff, probably. I don't need Wait, shields, I need replacement weapons. Oh, there they are. 
Not rusty shit. Get out of here. Rusty weapons. That was crap. What is this shit? Or too shield. many shields. Get a jack and just wield two of them at once. We are stars. Too many shields. We got too many. Too many shields. There's a shield in front of my house! Oh man. Uh, there, there's an SCP that somebody made a while ago. It was called, uh, the, the SCP, I don't remember the name, the number, but the name of it was called The Town That Got <laughs> Fucked by Bears. Okay. It was a, it was an anomaly that kept on producing bears, and the only way to, uh, deal with the bears was to tranquilize them and, like, break their neck. Because otherwise, if you kill them, two more bears would take their place. Do you and think, you know how... uh, do you think there was a grizzly bear mansion nearby? No, apparently it was this guy, there was, they were dealing with, like, coyotes, <laughs> the town was dealing with a coyote problem, and apparently this guy at a city council, like, uh, came up to, uh, to the, this, uh, dude, and was like, hey, uh, I, I can deal with your coyote problem, I can, I can get bears to deal with it, and he did, and the guy died, uh, like, I guess in the process of, like, causing the anomaly, and then the, the guy who, like, set it up with them was, like, saying, Oh, uh, yes, I think we need to get the bears. The bears, uh, the... We need to get the bears out. The coyotes have moved on. Okay, listen, there's... There's too many bears. It's like they're talking in a Minnesotan accent as well. Like, oh, yeah, there's too many bears. We need to get the bears out. And then the final call was, like, There's a bear in front of my house! Okay? There's bears all over the place! And then it ends... With the uh, with a bear like going ah eight four seven six four two call me please. It was just like it was it was uh, equal parts dark and funny. Just it just like a town that just the bears just overrun it and then an organization comes and they're like, well, uh, how are we gonna deal with this bear issue? Isn't that a there. Simpsons episode? Is it? Is it? <laughs> Is that where they got it from? Or the just bear. Okay, Simpsons bear episode. Simpsons bear episode. The fat and the furrest, season fifteen, episode five. Homer creates a homemade bear fighting suit after becoming the laughing stock of the town when a wild bear humiliates him, but his revenge. Mission sees him bonding with the animal. Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a post golden age. Uh... I mean, surely it's got to be better than the one where he gets fucked by a panda. Did that actually happen? Does he? Have yes. An affair with that the panda? that is one of the uh, one of the least popular Simpsons episodes. Is one that is just all about uh, Mr. Burns makes Homer his like his jester basically. Oh. And it's all to what extent is Homer willing to sacrifice his dignity. Oh my god. And he dresses up like a panda, panda in episode. the panda exhibit as the zoo. Homer and things versus happen. Dignity. That's, yeah. That's a, that's a, that, yeah, that sounds like the name of that title. Okay, so I need one more block. How do I make this happen? Season 12, episode 5. Okay, so that's charged. I might be able to uh, spare a block now. No? What does this do? Uh... Something. I, I presume you use the power, like, on the entire time. Well, I had the power on, and I, I'm wondering what this orange object does right here. Like, what's the point of this existing? Did you shoot it with an arrow? So that's a no? No, that has not been anything else in the game like that. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's... I don't know what it is. Alright, so power's on. It's going down that way. I need one more block for... One more object 
for this end here. Object of some kind. Object. A block doesn't seem like it would, like, do... It would stay up there. Hmm. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, uh, it's a gyroscope game, like, mini game. Uh, where you gotta pu push, where you gotta, oh, okay, that's for later. Might as well just get this done now, though. Yeah, this seems like an optional, like, extra item in the shrine thing. I don't think this is, I don't think this is optional. Or maybe it is. Brother, well, you gotta line up the because it's, it's a yeah. I know. I'm trying, thing. Jack. I'm I'm using my best to gyroscope. No, I I know that. I'm just saying. I think I don't think it's optional, but might as well just do it. That seems arbitrary, that one, that switch. Okay, you got it. No, you didn't. It's very slow. You, it's like a full second after I move that it... Okay. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. So these signify that a device is being powered. Like, when this is powered, this door will open. Which is what I don't yeah. understand what this one does. Uh, did it open something? Okay. That looks like that would be an elevator or something, but it's not, like, moving. I could, like, cheese a little bit of this by using metal weapons in place of these blocks, but uh, I don't understand go. how that would help me, because I don't have anything that will, like, sit here to connect these uh, two points. What's on the other side of the wall? Like, what's what's on, what's on the reverse side of, like, of, like, okay, so there's the wall with the power, so there's nothing back over there? Just nothing? That's the end of the shrine. Okay. So there's nothing, uh, so there's nothing, like, to the left on top of that uh, alcove. There's nothing up there, huh? Okay. Well... Uh, I don't know what to tell you. That's gonna float. Oh, that works. Somehow that worked. Has to do something. Maybe, maybe that's the thing that's powering the, uh... The, like, gyroscope? I don't see anything up on that ledge. Maybe I can activate it just, like, temporarily. Like, it's not gonna stay there, but I can just hold it for a second. No. No. That needs to flip. Needs to flip? Like, I think, I think that it's sticking out. Maybe it needs to just move... Maybe there's something that needs to be triggered that'll move that 
to the left or right or something? I don't know. Uh, well, this is another idea. I don't particularly like it, but let me see if I can pull it off. Oh, wait, I can move that platform? You can move the platform. You can stasis the platform. Can you move it with the... Uh... No, it's not magnesisable. So, well, then what the fuck's the point of... So it's supposed to be moving somehow. But it's not. Uh... Think about it. We're thinking about it. It doesn't move when it's powered, and it doesn't move when it's not powered. Wait! Water! What about the water? Use the use the water to move the platform up. Like ice? Ice! Climb up. Give me my arrow. Yeah, that's probably what they want. No? No, lower. Like, no? Ah! Well, I thought I thought it was a great idea, Jack. Well, you, actually, you could use that for the other side to, to keep that other thing in place. That's true. But well, I still need the big, the big cube for that part, though. I don't think two of the unless, little ones will be enough to, uh... Unless you... Well, two, either two of the little ones, or you use... Ah. Alright. Let's pull it. Let's pull this off. No, there's no way two little ones is tall enough. And what the fuck are we supposed to do with that platform? Okay, let, let's reobserve our toolkit. Uh, I guess stasis, I guess, is the only other thing that I could think of. Well, what is that going to do with the fucking platform? You're just gonna freeze it and then... and then I would have a pretty happen. limited time to do everything else in that case. No, that's not... I, but why would you... Be, oh yeah, I, you're right, you... I can't lift it up. Yeah, so what's... so... Alright, well here's my other idea. Let me try this and see if I can do it quick enough. This can't be the intended way, but I've, I've given up on the intended way. Alright, set this on. here. Wait, hold on! No, 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 I got, I got another idea, suddenly. Let me try this thing first, before we try your idea. Okay. I don't think your, this idea is gonna work, because... Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't electrify while it's stasis. Yeah, stasis means a complete absence of like of like movement. That includes electrical movement. Wait, what happened? Why did it move now? What, what? changed? <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh. Okay. Don't move it! What are you doing? Because I need the big block, right. Jack. I can't do it without the big block. Okay. So what? I don't want you. I don't, I don't want you suddenly like breaking it. Like, why did? Why did it just now decide it wants to like fucking move? I don't understand what changed that activated that device. You used stasis on it, and it just that. That's what fixed it. For some reason. Uh. Okay, that's where you put uh, the the ice down. On, like that's where you. Put, oh yeah. Like, ice. So I can't I can't even do that. I can't even like just have it active for a moment. I have to have it permanently. Yeah. Okay, and then, and then you already fixed the other side, so that uh, that chest should be open. 
Very yeah, we're done with the shrine, so go ahead and tell us how it was supposed to work. Yeah, please. Hyper Ninja. And also, why why was it why did that thing suddenly move? You have to touch the light with the block to make it work. Fuck off! I would never have guessed that. But there was a path. There was an electrical circuit going to the light. What? Remember the symbol of a lightning trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Okay, so these are new special emblems that Bob right. has come up with. So, okay. That won't, uh... Alright. That was a dumb one. That made no sense. I don't like that shrine. Agreed. It was, it was not good. I'm so paranoid about my computer right now. The past couple of times, I've, like, I, it just turned itself off, and I wasn't able to turn it back on it until I, like, unplugged it and plugged it back in, so I'm worried about the PCU. Yeah, if uh, if Jack disappears, then it's because his computer's fucked. <sighs> Need to get another PCU. Don't have the money for that! This is the next one I'm most confident about, because we saw Gerudo Town for relativity. I feel like we could do this in two streams. Probably. But we're not going to say last stream, because we, cause we <clears> never <throat> can guess it. But if I die, then, then, yeah. If I, not uh, if I die physically, but like if my computer dies. Calamity Ganon was kind of underwhelming in this game. Apparently, if you go to him immediately, you have to fight all four of the other Blight Ganons first. Oh, that's that sounds like a challenge. So it's a gauntlet of five. That sounds interesting. So basically, you're killing Ganon. And I think the same is true in, t in Tears of the Kingdom. You have to fight all of the uh, dungeon bosses before Ganon, if you rush to him. Good luck. You'll need it. He's also just way fucking harder in general. Oh, we got a sand seal. That's what, that's what the rings are. Sand seal. Go through the rings. Fuck the horse. I probably should have rented a, a sand seal. Rented? Just grab one from, like... These ones are more... Oh, hold on. There, There's a lady. These are her sand seals. This is fine. I would like a sand seal, lady. I have... You see them Superman 64 rings? I have a challenge to complete. Frelly asked me to go recruit some wild sand seals. The sand seals in town were all trained by Frelly. They're faster, and they'll wait for you to return to them. Ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. Okay. Huh. They're a Gerudo tradition. Pretty simple. You can use a sand seal to race around a course to see who's the fastest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done that, but, like, I need one for this. <laughs> That's my sand steel. You'd better stay back. Can I, can I borrow it? There's another sand seal over there. Just ride the Mulduga. Sorry, the sand seal. Imagine Link riding a fucking Mulduga into battle. Oh yeah, that'd be scary. It's like that'd totally be Dune. Looking at Trials Evolution on Steam, they stopped supporting online this year. That's a shame. I we saw that in the menu. Like none of the videos or menu items work anymore. Yeah. My disappointment. I, I'm streaming the, the trial series solo. You've probably seen a little bit, but yep. uh, apparently they don't have any achievements on Steam for any of the trials games, even the newer ones. That's disappointing. Especially because, like, they were—I mean, they were originally on Xbox 360, so like, they, they had a pretty big following with the achievement community. They don't even need to come up with any new ones. They just didn't bother to put them on Steam. 
it on retro achievements? I don't think so. They generally aren't for PC games. Yeah, they should. There's that one bowling game where you, like, bowl elves. Elf bowling? That have, yeah, that should have retro achievements. Retro achievements is for uh, console games, like uh, ROMs and things. It doesn't generally have uh, PC games. There is that. Uh, they should have achievements for uh, that, uh, that space ace pinball game. Yeah. This is Superman 64. You hear about that uh, that project that uh, automatically recompiles N64 games for PC, more or less. Yeah, you, you mentioned that, yeah. Of all things, Superman 64 is one of the first things supported. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's iconic. Does this have a time limit? God damn it. Well, it's a Wait, race, so I would it? assume That's so. It. Good, good. Well, that was way easier. Well, I... Then a Mulduga, I guess. We still have the actual oh, shrine yeah. to do. Fight a Mulduga versus run the rings. Like, of course it's going to be easier. But shiny. So these aren't full shrines. These are shrines asterisk. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're decent enough shrines. Well, I mean, we don't get the traditional shrine reward. We get we get a special Naburu token. I'm sorry, yeah. an Erbo Erbosa token. It's fine. The reward's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. What's the elemental weakness for electricity? There isn't one. Fuck. I think it would be rock. Just, you smack it with a rock, and it and it disintegrates. All right, so these are presumably all going to be electricity based. I know how to deal with this. Yeah, what now? Just cheese the fucking dungeon. Fuck your puzzle. This is this is the fucking uh, this is the taskmaster way of like getting through it. Your goal is to get to the other side of the shrine. Well, do I have to? Can I not use certain armor? Do I have to not be electrified? All the information is on the task. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, now I need to make a path as well. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't need to be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're fine. You're not gonna crush yourself, are you? Oh. <laughs> That's almost like, like, just like, the, the, the electric current, the quote-unquote electric current will go through this area. You need to, you must make it touch, and then they think, oh, it's electrified, and then one person's like, it's not electrified, I just need to make it touch, and then he just does it. That's like, uh, that reminds me, there was this task... Uh, they were, uh, it was, they were in a dark room, they were wearing, like, a glow, and they were, like, wearing a, uh, like a painter's smock, painted, like, a, as a, with the skeleton stuff painted over it, and, uh, and some of the paint was, like, was, like, uh, set glowing, but they couldn't see the paint, and they had to paint, like, a scene with a rainbow. Yeah. And, like, three of, and, like, two of them, or, three, yeah, three of them just decided to just fucking, like, paint with whatever they found, and it was all, like, mismatched in colors. One of them was able to smell the colors by basically saying, oh, lemon? Oh, this must be yellow. Um, you know what the third one did? What? <laughs> he turned on the lights. He's like, oh, it's much easier to paint this way. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the lights were uh, were on for everyone. It, it said, it, it only said you, could, you couldn't leave the room. 
Uh, no, you want that's the opposite. You want to do it the yeah. opposite way. God, this makes it. This thing. This trivializes it. <laughs> How long do you think Urbosa spent de designing that? Uh, probably like probably like five hours. She was proud of it, and then some asshole with like a like a electricity immune like item just. Apparently, uh, apparently Age of Calamity is like an alternate continuity thing. Oh, really? Like, I had like, an alternate continuity where they won? Shockingly, they didn't end the game with uh, Calamity Ganon winning and everything being destroyed. So, uh... That's nice. I haven't played the game, but I guess the plot is like Zelda sends a little robot drone back to change history. Ganon did? No, or Zelda did. did. Zelda's like, this is this his, this future's fucked. We need to save everyone. Sends a drone back. That's that's cool. I want that kind of makes me want to play it now. I hope this is the right spot. This is the one you're. This is the one you're least sure about, right? Yeah. Kind of also looked like it could be in Gerudo Canyon. Okay, so if it's not here, if it's not this, like, piece jutting out, it's this one. It might be down here. Either way, uh, did you... Yeah. Hello? There we go. Uh, what's on the top right corner of, on that map? It's like, uh, it, it's a thing jutting out with, like, a little alcove beneath it. Maybe it's over here? It'd be great to have, like, like, a side-by-side. -side. that's overhead, then, then that looks like that's green. So maybe it's closer to a forest than we realize. Maybe it is the one up there. Yeah, you're right. It would have to have a forest, like, in the top right. Yeah, so it is It's the one up So it is the one up there, the first one you marked. The red okay. one. Because, uh, because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. It's the cold desert, the worst kind of desert. Good meat. I like how they make no attempt to be true to life in like how good animal meat is. It's just whatever's harder to kill has better meat. I think you think that the the, the stronger the creature is, the more tough the meat is. Yeah, usually that's the case. This is like Toriko, uh, like, logic, where, like, biggest dangerous creatures are the ones that are the most delicious. Wow, that thing is really taking damage! I'm using, I'm using a shitty bow. Oh, you're using the sniper bow. Uh-oh. Y'all, leave me alone. I'm looking for, what am I even looking for? Uh, fight the brood of the sand. We did that. Throw the orb underground. We got. We got to go underground. Where are we gonna go underground around here? Okay, I, I see a cave, an alcove. Down there. Here's the Yiga place. Maybe this is the green thing they were talking about, because the green the Yiga grounds are green. Would you consider that green? No, it was just maybe it was though. Yeah, 
Oh, is this just death? That's just death, okay. Just death down here. Is that an, is it somebody going lol? Yeah. Lol. We we don't have the depths yet. We don't we don't have the whole like underground map to jump down to in this game. Yeah. There's three of those in Elden Ring. I do feel like uh, Tears of the Kingdom is just kind of a banjo tooey thing where there's just there's just too much. You say that banjo tooey didn't really have all that much more than like uh, than like banjo kazooie because I played the shit out of both of those games. People complain about Tui's levels being a lot bigger and more unwieldy. That's why I like them! I like the size! It's like so much to explore! Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, there was like a lot of like small stuff, yeah. But fuck, if my grandma could, be, could, uh, could beat that game 100%, I can. Your grandma could beat any game 100%. She's... She was an old school person, like when it came to gaming. She, uh, um, she used to play Donkey Kong Country by trying to skip all the save points so that if she died, she'd have to do it all over again. Thank you, chat. Keywords in the hint, in the hint, throw the orb in the hole. Are these the orbs? Do I have to, like, guide a snowball into the Yiga hole? The orb in the hole. Breath of the Wild orb in the hole. Unfortunately, I can't, like, magnesis these or anything, so I don't have a way to, like... I guess I can use a stasis. Stasis hit. Stasis and hit it. Time for the boing hammer. There's no way this is gonna work. Bonk, 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 bonk. That's off to the side. Oh, it does work. Great. We could be completely off. They could. These could not be the right orbs. They're very conspicuous snowballs, though. Ah. Oh! Okay, maybe not. Orb in hole. Oh, you need it, it'll be in the Yiga hideout, it seems like. So oh, so you so yeah, it'll be through the make sure you're wearing your stealth outfit. Oh right, this pl no the, we we kicked the Yiga out, they're gone. Well, um here, the Yika clan were taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet, there's still an awful lot of them around. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, we kicked them out. They're back. Oh, God. here we go. The orb they stole from the Gerudo tribe is in their second floor storage area. Getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. So it's nice that we have NPCs that we can rely on to, like, point us in the direction of these things. We go to the place and we look for the NPC. I'm thinking I should probably back out. Okay. Uh. Don't I have, like, a Yiga outfit? No? That Okay, that's not a thing. There is, like, a, a side plot, a side quest in Tears of the Kingdom where you get a Yiga outfit and infiltrate the Yiga. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's cool. I think the reward is the Thunder Helm. You gotta get that by, like, proving yourself and becoming the best Yiga. Wait, again? You gotta get the Thunder Helm from them again? Yeah, of course you lose everything. They stole it. They stole it back. Jeez. Yeah, at least Metroid games bother to explain Samus going in without her gear every game. Are you uh, are you interested in Metroid Prime Four? I am. Uh, I'd like to play it. Uh, I, I know they had footage for it recently. Which means oh, I is. can't save in here. Yeah, should have saved out there. Nope.
how many arrows. I guess I could, like, yeah, I could take them out, but... Oh, these guys are tough, though. Man. And once you're caught, that's, that's it. I can't, like, beat these guys. Yeah, that's it for you. Nope, I'm not here. We cool? Unless... Yeah, you escaped. Good job. Go back in. Can I use, like, ancient arrows? Can I vaporize humans? Unfortunately, they don't let you just outright kill Yiga. They just, like, they give up and then poof, disappear. Yeah, because I guess they can still be redeemed. It's like the old, only Zelda game where Link can just straight up kill a human. This Majora. Yeah. No, it's only monsters and they disintegrate. It's back to shit getting, like, really, uh, just safe and watered down again. Man, it would be great to have a camera that worked. All I know is I'm going to the second floor. <laughs> this is kind of recycling. Just do the Yiga, get, Yiga base again, but backwards. CG in the CDI games. I don't think he kills any humans in that. Not that that kind of that really counts anyway, but the, in in the CDI games, yeah, kills people. Yeah. So there's there's the orb. the orb. Yeah, you gotta carry it out. Well, thankfully, even if I get caught, the door doesn't close, so I can just like book it in theory. Oh, they have one hit kill still? Did they before? I, yeah. I thought well, they just, like, attacked you until you go down and you can't escape. I thought they had one hit kills. If they don't, then that's a different story. Oh, nope, I'm not here. You didn't see me. I can't what was that? that I can't believe that works. Self oh, no, that one spotted me. Because you were... Oh, and the door's locked. Yeah, there's a door in this area. Well... Uh, Darn. Uh, you gonna fight him? I and guess I'm gonna have to. You have to fight him hard style. At least you got your Master Sword with 60 damage. If only I still had my, like, Ultra in Infinite Sword. Yeah. Do the Well, you couldn't do this part because they were, like, still... It was still active. Alright, I'm gonna have to get into my... my... Blake, Assault Mode! <laughs> It's all right. I have Daruk's protection. Now, fuck off. All right, you're you're just really just fucking fucking them up. The little guys are not a threat. These guys are annoying. Oh, that that guy. Okay, you got him. I'm completely whiffing my parries or my dodges. Yeah, I can tell. We so got him. Is that the end? Oh, great. Okay, you can fight him off. Yeah. We well, got the Master Sword. If you couldn't fight him off, then, then that would have been a problem. Where's my orb? I'm orbing out. Bye. Good thing there's not, like, trapped chests in this game. Hey, I got the thing. Are you impressed? I got it! Now throw it in the pit where it belongs. Did you really go in there and nab that orb? You stole it, yeah? You really yeah. did? 
they find out, they'll chase you down till the end of time. That's they already do. Okay. That is so not fair. We found it first. Treasure of the Grudo? Nah. Hole. Hole. Now can we cheese this one? Hopefully we can, then that would mean the desert one would be like over like really easily. Yeah, there's a blood moon happening. Is it, oh, will it happen while you're in the shrine, and it, it'll, it'll still proc the thing? I assume so. Oh, time stops in the shrine. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna suck. Oh, god, and there's... Gyro What's this shit. for? Uh... Gotcha? Okay, well we have to open the thing and get all the balls out, I'm assuming. Yeah. We'll see how that works. Um, in the meantime, oh my god, these are the worst. These these weird logic puzzles. All right, so there's green. There's green. Green has four. I have one orb for each row. How, how do you figure two. green has four? Okay, so yellow has two. Two surfaces. Two surfaces. Purple has four. Also has two surfaces. Four two? surfaces? Oh yeah, you're right. Four because it's got some on the top and the bottom. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. That's way more than five. Huh. Well. Over five. Yeah, and that's got four. One of these had, like, the solution on the ceiling, so you had to look up. That sucks. One, two, three, four? Yeah, so that's got four, so... So the fourth spot. I don't think this is right. Okay, so... If that's not right, then what the fuck is this? Alright. Uh So if that's Oh, not we're the... counting what's in the box. Oh, really? Okay. How many are in the box? I guess it's like a fucking jelly beans game. Uh, I see two oranges. I see two. Is it two or three? Two oranges. One pink. Two greens? I see a blue. I see maybe two blues. Purple. Blue purples. Two oranges. Two greens. One pink. <laughs> I hope it's as simple as that. Oh, okay, the other ones happen to be in the right place. <laughs> Lucky us. Alright. Is that it? That was that was literally it. Wait, is that it? There's an optional extra thing for 
something. One, two, okay. three. Easy Black one? Story, me, ABC. Uh, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. Whatever's in there is probably not worth it. It's a fucking, like, super soaker. I work on fire enemies. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you must go to Divine Beast Vanaboris. Do okay. the whole dungeon again. Hope not. I don't even remember how to do that dungeon. Now, previously, these would, like, kick you out if you got too close after completing the dungeon. They'd say, oh, it's out? dangerous. Yeah, if you walked too close to the Divine Beast after completing the dungeon. It would teleport you away. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been back to the maze at the top right of the map? I've gotten all the DLC armor, if that's what you're asking. I got the, the teleportation beacon, yeah. The only thing that hasn't been done in the DLC, I'm pretty sure, is this DLC 2, like, quest stuff, because I wanted to stay blind to that. One who approaches this divine beast in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Oh, we're gonna do another trial. What's this trial gonna be? You will be granted the chance, the opportunity, to tread through the realm of memories. What is this gonna be? Is, is it really gonna be, like, a master mode version of the, of the dungeon? Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is deeper than you know. This is going to be more Pit of a Hundred Trials. Oh, you get special uh, outfit. Special outfit, special weapons. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. Is it gonna be the thunder? We, we chose the worst boss first. Jeez. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. But you know, you know what we got? We have stasis, so it's not, it's not all bad. We gotta fight Thunder Blight on hard mode. Damn it! Wait, the, How did we <laughs> beat this guy again? Uh, you beat him. Uh, there was like a like, trick like, to it that we didn't get for most of the fight. It just stasis was it really him. just stasis? Yeah, it was stasis. Did he have a shield before? Um. Yeah. St stasis. Yeah, too late. It's alright. I'll, I'll relearn my buttons. Oh my god. You've been hey. playing for two hours. How do you not know your buttons? Well, I haven't been doing a whole lot of, like, boss combat. Come on, come at me. Okay, I hit it. It didn't come out immediately. I pressed the button. There. Okay, shield's gone. All right. Now I hope that I hope that your weapon isn't gonna just fucking break. That would suck if that was the case. I have two weapons. You're gonna your weapon's gonna the scimitar's gonna break. You're gonna break the fucking. Oh my god. This is Do you have you have you have no shields back too.
This is the weaker of the two weapons. The other one will be uh, more useful generally, I think. Yeah. Might as well switch to that actually now. We can wait. Flurry. That's how. You, that's also how you did it. You did flurry. It was uh, maybe it was the shield parry was the thing. Yeah. Can you do that? Or uh, I don't remember how. Oh damn it. Maybe I think you uh you you raise the shield in time with like a first attack. I think they. Maybe they changed it in Tears of the Kingdom, because I remember it being, like, a stick button, but it's not that. Maybe I should look it up. Just how do you do a shield parry? Y'all remember how to parry? What, what are you doing back there? Dude, you missed. He's, he's on your shit. You got some cats, uh, that... Screaming at you that you're a not button. fighting it properly. I, it's working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Unfortunately, if I switch to the other sword, then I think that's a two-handed weapon, and I can't. Uh... Can't block this attack. Yeah. Hello, where are you? <laughs> this screen effect is a little bit much. Yeah. yeah now I need to get up, well. and I need to like get his lightning things close to him. No! You knocked me off, you bastard! This is not a great place to be having a boss battle. No, it's, it's kind of not. Where'd he go? Hello? All right. Uh... Oh, are you? Do you have your immunity thing on still? I don't. You're right. I could use it. Yeah. Oh no, you can't because because your equipment's gone. Oh, you're right. All right. Where are you? I, I got him. Camera, please work with me. Drop the daybreaker. You drop your weapons. Stasis. Fucking. Wow. Wow. It's all right. We got this. I failed the parry. You tried to parry. Why didn't you fucking stasis? Because that's the secret to the boss is to parry him. That's how we got him. Or you could just dodge. No, we tried dodging. That's what wasn't working the whole time we were doing okay. the boss fight. Shit. It's been so long. Okay. Wow. Just... I need to pick up my shit up, and he's not giving me the chance. Okay. Uh... Oh, badly damaged. Uh oh. Yep, got hit again. That's shit. It's fine. We got this. You're, all right. You're, you're. Now he's gonna do his thing again. No, he's gonna do a laser. What do we do about the laser? Uh, we stasis and then shot him with an arrow. I don't have a bow I don't have bow and arrow. Well that's what we did last time. I wanna climb back up again. You, you but I'm worried about his laser. Throw the fucking scimitar at him. Wait, wait, start up his laser. Oh, it broke. Sucks to suck. Oh, you blocked his time. I'm gonna get lasered. Would be great if Z-targeting works too. Wait! 
Oh, no, that's not gonna work. And you dropped your weapon. Oh, is the shield gone? Shield's broke. I have another one. No, shield's fine. He just dropped it. You're using a double-handed weapon, that's why you're not able to... Well, not while the weapon's out, yeah. Go down! Flawless. Finally! Perfect fight. Not a problem. You burned through an extra heart con like container. If you didn't have that, we would have had to start all over. Jeez, this boss sucks hard. Oh, do you use it with limited weaponry? Fuck off. Well, it's all uphill from here. That was the worst boss in the game. This is the first boss that I fought, and then Hello, Dark I Pink had Planet. Uh, is there a whole lot more after the three? So we have each champion has three things to do in a boss. Is there a lot more past that, or is that more or less it? You're, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe they know. I'm asking chat. I, for some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought with only the wind to distract you. Wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Urbosa has truly invigorated me. It has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. So I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Vanaboris, which Urbosa herself mastered. Mm. Written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Urbosa. I don't know if this is a particular, like, games theme or something. I don't recall it. I can't hear it, so... <laughs> I think we get a cutscene? Princess yeah, we get, we get to see Akai, additional memories. I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me little bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Hmm? <laughs> Do your Awkward worst. look. <laughs> Oh, they were eager the entire time. It's nice that we get new cutscenes for DLC. Yeah, it's also nice that, like, the Gerudo are, have been, like, uh, that's cool! That the Gerudo are more than just, like, the token, like, evil, like, race of Hyrule, that they actually have, like, you know, more nuance now. You asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean Mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. 
Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Wow, you came up with that all yourself, Cass? So none of that really happened, that was just your song. Yeah, <laughs> the song of the, the bard, the uh, legend of Urbosa. Queen of the Gerudo. The no, that didn't really lord. happen. But what if it did? <laughs> she was a fierce warrior. The Gerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. Are they gonna show up with the other three? By writing a song that honors... This seems like the cast DLC, yeah. yeah I feel just... closer than ever to my dear teacher. Mm. I was struck by a realization that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by my teacher's pupil, by me. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Oh, we get buffs to the, the champion's abilities. You are the Fuck, we should have done Revali first. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. I guess if there's more combat, then having a buffed uh, Urbosa will be helpful. So you think if we buff so Mifas, if we get like stuck on a boss fight, we can just like run away for ten minutes and get Mifa back? <laughs> just yeah, face tank triplicate. Uh, I got until four today. How long are you willing to to do this? Uh, well, I mean. Considering that I'm laying down right now, I I, uh, I I got more energy. That being said, I don't know what how I don't know what my computer's going to do. <laughs> I could just drop at any minute, and then, given how sensitive my computer is, it might the last time it does it, that might be that might be the last time it'll function until I get it repaired. I legit have no idea what's going on with it, and that kind of makes me nervous. Let's do the Rito next, because uh, having a buffed Rivali's Reval Gale sounds good. Okay. I was gonna say Ruto, like like uh, the buffed Mifa's Grace. I wonder what I wonder what that was. It just added, it refreshes quicker, I would assume. Apparently it is these, like, nine, uh, so it's these nine things, plus you know three bosses, and then one final boss is is the rest of this DLC. I have four orbs. I could get another stamina thing back. Uh oh yeah, you could. I wonder what the where if. If they're just gonna leave it like that, it's just gonna be always imperfect. That'd be annoying. Yeah. Speaking of, there's it's the same in Tears of the Kingdom. There's not enough to get a full of both. Even though you start the game in like the first cutscene with full of both. Locations that will be revealed to you, blah blah blah, trials. Hey idiot, find them on your map. Did that stone monument just start glowing? I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. Ah! You didn't imagine it the first time? You... How long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Oh my god, is this gonna be the same fucking conversation? Yeah. <laughs> ah, we meet again. Oh. Is 
Sorry, I'm trying to deal with a with a Twitch bot. Oh shit. Well, that sounds easy. Four targets. Starting to piece together the key verses of the song. Four targets instead of three? Wait, oh. so it's... Oh, I think that's one of the three challenges, is just, like, shooting four targets. Okay. Thankfully, Tiba and the Rito Village Elder Canelli told me some wonderful stories of the Rito Champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart, and so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. All right, that one looks like the mountain northwest of Zora's Domain. That one's vague as shit. That is, uh, it's on top of a mountain. That one... It's green. Uh, it's north of the green. It's in between mountains and green. And that one, yeah, so... Oh no, it can't be Zora's Domain, we're in the Heber region. Yeah, so it's around this area. Shit, this one seems like it's gonna be difficult. Uh, mountain with like a valley. So it's either this canyon or this canyon. But there's greenery in the bottom right. So I'm maybe it's this one? Because there's a canyon on uh, down here and bottom right is greenery. Seems like the only place I think it could be. Yeah. Jack, are you okay? You sound like you're falling asleep. Uh, I need to take my medicine. <laughs> and uh, I think, I think, let's, can we leave this for next time? I think next time will definitely, finally, fantastically be the last stream of this. Yeah. Probably be yeah. a f longer stream next time. But, uh. Yeah, probably. I, I do want to finish it. I also don't want my computer to cut out in the middle of a stream because I still don't know what's going on with it. Um, is gonna, your friend gonna... with you? Is that a mountain? Uh, yes, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm sorry you showed up just for the end, but uh, we're just about to call it. I'm Zelrog, this is Jack, and yes. uh, if you'd you like can, to... You'll ca you can catch this stream on YouTube. Yeah, we have all of our streams archived on YouTube, so uh, feel free to check out the rest of our Breath of the Wild playthrough or any of our other playthroughs, but... Uh, we're done for today. So thank you guys for watching and sticking with us. We'll be back sometime, maybe this weekend, sometime to finish this, play other games. But uh, we're done for today, so we'll see you next time.